the Sons of the American Revolution. Today, we're going to learn to make invisible ink, just like spies in the Revolutionary War. Back in Revolutionary War times, if you were a spy and wanted to send a secret message, you might use something called ferrous sulfate. You would send it to your recipient, and your recipient would take the message and hold it up to a candle or some other kind of heat source, and the message would appear. Or they might use a chemical known as sodium carbonate. However, today we're going to make our own invisible ink using vinegar, and then we're going to use grape juice from concentrate to decode it. You need to use the kind from concentrate, not just the kind, the regular kind in the jug. This usually comes frozen, and you'll probably need to thaw it out a little bit before using. So I put both of these substances in a little cup here. And our writing instrument is going to be a Q-tip. So I'm just going to take my Q-tip, dip it really good into the vinegar, and I'm ready to write my secret message. Now, when you're writing your secret message, you want to make sure and write it as big as you can for it to still fit on the page. Write it in thick letters and kind of press down pretty firmly because this is going to help whenever it's time to decode it. So let's go, I'm writing my secret message. You might need to re-dip into the vinegar a few times to make sure that it, uh, you have enough to write your whole message. get enough grape juice on it for it to do its magic. Okay, now that I have covered the paper in grape juice, you can see that it says, send more supplies. And that is our secret message. So, if you'd like to learn more information about spying in the American Revolution or learn more fun educational activities you can do, please visit our website at sar.org. Thanks for joining us.